Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan, bringing you your top headlines for Wednesday, February 29th. Yep, February 29th. That one day that comes every four years when black people almost get a full month to celebrate their history. Today we've got some news in the world of Abe Lincoln. And that euthanasia roller coaster story I never got around to yesterday. All that and more on your Gaiism Speed Round. The New York Mets Chief Operation Officer Jeff Wilpon left these t-shirts, featuring the U from the cartoon Underdog in Mets colors, in the lockers of every player yesterday. Some players, like David Wright, don't think it's good to use a cartoon to promote a professional team's image, but I think it's pretty fitting, because just like Underdog, the New York Mets are something you could have stopped watching in the mid-80s. A New Orleans church was forced to stop handing out free water bottles along the Mardi Gras parade route because they didn't have the proper licensing. And by didn't have the proper licensing, I mean they were stopping people from taking out their boobs. And we can't have that. People are starting to work on what they're calling a euthanasia roller coaster that kills people humanely. And you must be this miserable to ride. This iconic photo of Abraham Lincoln has actually been discovered to be two photographs stitched together. Hmm. Not so honest after all, huh, Mr. Historical Photoshop Pioneer? You jerk. A Turkish man who underwent the very first quadruple limb transplant has died a few days following the operation. I'm just gonna say it. I hope they buried him with the limbs so that people don't mistake him for a time capsule. A woman in Ohio has been accused of injecting her two teenage daughters with heroin before sending them to school. Not ideal, but considering what's been going on in Ohio the last few days, I'll take this kind of school shooting any day. Virgin Atlantic has employed a whispering coach to teach its cabin crew how to speak in a soft tone so as not to wake up sleeping passengers. Which is going to make your entrance into the Mile High Club super awkward! McDonald's in France has announced that it'll soon be featuring the McBaguette, a burger on a baguette, pretty self-explanatory, to lure people into the restaurant by appealing to their national identity. Which means pretty soon you'll be able to cop a sweet McBeer can. The new sexy bondage novel Fifty Shades of Grey has been selling like hotcakes because women say it makes you want to have sex with your husband again. But if you would rather sit down and read a book than just have sex with your husband in the first place, that might be a good indication that you are Fifty Shades of Gay. That's going to do it for your speed round, guys. If you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out brand new news videos every single day. And sometimes they're even funny. Have a lovely leap day, and I will see you all tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know.